Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another Westbrook offering, Westbrook out of Mount Pleasant, uh, South Carolina. So today we have the, a, um, it's basically a Schwartz beer style by them. Uh, it's a black rye lager and it is called Dark Helmet. As you can see, it actually is a reference to um, Spaceballs, the movie Spaceballs, which is a reference to um, Star Wars. Uh, and it's actually pretty funny because it has um, some stuff on the side. All I see is the thing that made the Schwartz be with you, which I'll read the whole thing after I give it a try. But um, 6% uh, alcohol by volume. Um, so let's give it a try. Black Rye Lager. Here we go. Obviously, it's going to be dark in coloration. Let's get a nice pour on there. All right. So you can see it. Um, it's got a nice uh, kind of tan head to it. Obviously, it's very, very dark, as you can see. Um, I can't really see much through it. It's got more of a of a coloration like a stout or a porter, not just like a black lager. So darker than I thought it would be, honestly. I thought it would be a little more translucent. Um, so anyway, let me give it a sniff. Hmm. <sighs> Definitely has that smell like lager yeast typically does. It's got a little bit of a chocolatey nose to it um, that you get with like a, a black lager or Schwartz beer style from time to time. Sometimes I tend to get like licorice -y aspects out of that, but I'm not getting any out of this. I am getting a little bit though of like a honey note uh, in this as well. And I get a little bit of that rye, which is kind of like a spice factor to it. So let me give it a shot. Oh, tastes a lot of the rye in the mouth. Um, decent amount of that kind of chocolatey aspect to it, and it finishes a little bit ashy, which I found that Schwartz beers do a lot of the time, have kind of like an ashy note to the finish. Um, but that chocolatey aspect is significantly more than I thought it would be. It's leaving a little bit bitter uh, on the finish, more bitter than I was expecting. Definitely tastes lager yeasty. It's a very lager type finish. Very kind of crisp and light the way it's finishing, but it is more bitter than I was expecting. Having a little bit of an issue with that bitterness, and I think that the rye is kind of amping the bitterness up a little bit because of that spice aspect. But I think that this is still pretty cold. I think as that warms up, that's going to kind of like come down a little bit in its intensity because when something's colder, you're getting you'll get more, you know, bitterness to it. Uh, and as it warms up, that bitterness will kind of come down because the other flavors in there will kind of rise. Because when a liquid is cold, it makes a lot of flavors kind of clam up. Um, so you get the, the more bitter flavors that become dominant. So um, pretty good though. Uh, I've, I've typically been eh on Schwartz beers, but this is probably one of the better ones I've had because of those kind of chocolatey aspects. Um, and I do like the rye in there. That kind of spice aspect is, is kind of nice, so. Hmm. Westbrook did a good job. Uh, so let me read your the uh, text on here. Dark Helmet is a German-style black lager, or Schwartz beer, brewed with 10% malted rye. Chocolate and carafa malt give the beer its dark color and ludicrously smooth roasty flavor. May the Schwartz be with you. Which is hilarious, because in Spaceballs, they call the Force the Schwartz, and they say, may the Schwartz be with you. So... Very clever marketing on this. Uh, I like it. Westbrook, thank you so much. Everybody watching, thank you. And go get yourself an awesome beer.